Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So first off, I just want to say Happy New Year's, everyone. Oh my gosh, it is 2024. We are going to do great things this year, you guys. But I don't want to go ahead and start this video with all some rambling. And I do realize like in previous videos, I tend to have a very long introduction. So we're going to try our best to make these introductions extremely short, you guys, moving forward into 2024. But thank you as always for the just outpour of support. It truly means so much to me, you guys. But before we get started with the video, I will say today's featured video is going to be Alabama football, like game day, where that you, you know, can spruce up and where to an Alabama football game. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because on New Year's Day, um, Alabama actually was in the Rose Bowl um, parade and then also to the game, Alabama against Michigan. Sadly, we did lose that game, but you guys, it was a great game. The score was 20 to 27, and we even went into overtime, but that's okay, you guys. Alabama is still, to me, in my opinion, the biggest and the baddest SEC football team that there is in the South. But like I said, you guys, we're just going to go ahead, jump into the video. I hope you enjoy today's video, but let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so this is the first outfit. And side note too, you guys, um, a lot of people don't know, I actually am a graduate from the University of Alabama. So that is why Alabama football is very sentimental to me. But moving right along, this beautiful two-piece set, you guys, oh my goodness. It is a 10 out of a 10. Let's just get into the details, shall we? So with this two-piece set, it has sequins. Look at all of those beautiful sequins. Sequins all over the jacket, sequins all over the skirt, the button detailing. It's just like a single black button. I do have one of the buttons unbuttoned at the top. There are also like these little pockets right here that also have that single little black button as well. And there's also buttons on the sleeves um, too, you guys. But oh my goodness. Yes, the skirt is a bit on the shorter side. And then also too, to note, you guys, I actually wore this New Year's Eve. This was my New Year's Eve outfit only because the second job that I work, it actually had me working on New Year's Eve, but it was actually a lot of fun. And then also too, I um, made like a lot of money in tips, you guys. So I don't know if it was the outfit. And then also too, um, with the game, Alabama game being the next day, which was New Year's Day. But yes, you guys, great time I had at my second job. This was the fit. It was definitely a stunner. But yes, um, I do believe the name of this brand is Antonio Milani. I did actually order this through dillards.com and yes, this is, it's beautiful, you guys. It's beautiful. I just love it. And then also too, I did just decide to pair it with these kind of like um, pointed toe little heels. You can't really see them um, obviously because I have them on my feet, but fun fact, you guys, these heels purchased through Target, um, and they are also sequin too. And I do believe I am going to kind of do like, um, kind of like an overview of like um, things that I've purchased within like the couple of weeks with Christmas. Um, a lot of the stuff that I've purchased, I actually was gifted with like a gift card. So it really wasn't me spending my money. It was actually me just spending the gift card. But um, these beautiful sequins heeled shoes that I purchased um, through Target were actually, um, well, the gift card rather. So I ended up getting a gift card from Target, you guys, and here I am going off on a tangent. But anyways, you should know about it. So I got this gift card from Target actually from my first job. And the reason um, they gifted me with a gift card um, through Target was because 
of my first apartment, you guys. So yeah, they actually gave me a Target gift card. And with some of the money from that Target gift card, I ended up finding these beautiful shoes that were just a show stopper with this outfit, you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up, you guys, but this is the back of the look. Like I said, stunner, showstopper. But yes, you guys, this is the first look. Okay, you guys, so this is the second outfit. So it's this beautiful houndstooth, like thick sweater. And then also I just decided to pair it with this fox leather skirt with pleats. And then also too, to mention you guys, the sweater is actually from Macy's. Now I will say I've had this for quite some time. So I probably, <laughs> I, well, mm, yeah, this is more than likely it's gonna be out of stock, you guys. I was gonna say it might still be in stock, but yeah, I've had this for a while. As far as the skirt though, the skirt was purchased through walmart.com with the brand name Scoop, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And then to finish off the look, I just decided to pair it with these beautiful, genuine leather suede boots from Vince Komodo. But yes, you guys, I definitely like this look. It's a very simple look. And then also too, it's my second more so dressier look. And side note too, you guys, because you're probably saying, who would wear something like that to a football game? See, that's the thing about Alabama football and just football in the South, you guys. It's kind of like a fashion show, if I'm being honest. It is. It's a fashion show. People dress up. People dress down. It's really your preference. So that's why I'm not going to be biased because I am showing two more so dressier outfits. And then I do also have two more so like relaxed and chill outfits. But still, you know kind of dressy, you know, but yet also too very comfortable. But yes, you guys, another look, look in the back, and to finish it off, this is the second look. Okay, you guys, so I am hoping that you can hear me because I don't really know what's going on with my mic over here to the side, but let's get into this look. You guys, I love a good pullover, a good sweatshirt, and I was fortunate enough to be blessed with this beautiful pullover for Christmas from my sister. Oh my goodness. She knows me so well. You guys, this pullover, 10 out of a 10. The quality, the detailing. Look at this. Crimson Tide, Alabama, baby. Let's get into it. So we've got the emblem. Let's see. I think this is actually the brand's emblem, if I'm not mistaken. This beautiful embroidered, like stitched thick embroidery of the Crimson Tide and the Alabama. I love this V-neck right here. Don't mind because I have like another t-shirt like up underneath here. But you guys, this V-neck, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then also too, you guys, we have this area like right here where it actually has like a little Velcro opening and there is a zipper to where you can put stuff in there. Like you guys, oh, didn't even realize y'all. It actually goes all the way over here. Oh, wow. This is neat. This is very, very neat. Oh, wow. That's a lot of space in there, you guys. So Yes, I absolutely love it. I do have it like tucked up underneath because you know, Sable had to pair it with a skort, the one and only Fashion Nova Nova Sport skort. So if you know, you know, last year I wore the heck out of these skorts. I love them because I feel like you can wear a skort really all year round or maybe more so here in the state of Alabama because as mentioned before previously in other videos from last year, if you know Alabama weather, then you know, typically we get all of the seasons within the same day. Now, I will say granted, lately it has been very, very, very cold. It's cold outside now. I think it's like 45 degrees. But yes, you guys. So I definitely opt for this look for an Alabama game. 
I decided to pair it with my new balance tennis shoes. If you know, you know, Sable loves these tennis shoes. They are unisex. So both men and women can wear them. But I like this look, you guys. It's cute. It's comfortable. But also, too, it's just a really nice look that you can wear to an Alabama football game. And then, oh, forgot to mention to you guys. So if you turn around in the back, there's also this A emblem, too, right there. So, yes, you guys. But I love this look. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. But this is the third outfit. Okay, everyone, so this is the fourth and final look. Of course, it's another pullover. And yes, it was actually gifted by my sister, but this was actually one that she gave me, oh wow, several Christmases ago. And another fact too, you guys, my sister is also a graduate from the University of Alabama. So yes, so roll, tide, roll. But anyways, you guys, yes, it's this beautiful red pullover. We have Bama, obviously. This is supposed to be Big Al. Big Al is the mascot for Alabama. And also, too, this is actually licensed through Champion. So, yes, you guys, love it, love it, love it. I think my sister also has the same pullover, too, as well. I'm going to have to ask her, but I think she does, you guys. But yes, you guys, so we have another opening where we can put stuff right here. And then also, too, we do have a hood in the back, you know, for those games where it's rainy, you know, might be rainy, the wind may be blowing. But yes, you guys, and then I just decided to pair this look with some black leggings. You can never go wrong with black leggings. The leggings are from Old Navy. Oh, yes, you guys, I should tell you where the pullover is from, too. I think my sister said she purchased this through the soup store. So that's another thing, you guys. So living in Tuscaloosa, having gone to the University of Alabama, we have this store that's called the soup store. And basically within the soup store, you can buy licensed Alabama merchandise from pullovers, jackets, sweatshirts, T-shirts pretty much anything that you can think about that's like Alabama related. And then also too, for students um, like myself, as well as for my sister, that's where we would typically go to purchase like our books. You guys, here I am literally just <laughs> having a moment, having a moment, like a flashback moment of the college days um, for both my sister and I. But yes, you guys, we are both graduates from the University of Alabama. And yeah, like I said, roll tide roll. So yes. She purchased this from the soup store. Leggings are Old Navy. And then the tennis shoes are from Michael Kors. So yes, you guys. And then I just decided to add these socks. I love this look, you guys, as far as like with the socks being rolled over. I just think it's so cute. I know we're basically bringing back like old trends, but let's keep doing that, you guys. I love the older trends. I always say I felt like I was born in the wrong, like, decade. <laughs> I just, like, I'm a 90s baby, for people who don't know that. I was born in 1992, and I don't know. I just feel like maybe I should have been born maybe a lot sooner than the 90s, but we love it. We'll take the 90s. I like being a 90s baby. So, yes, you guys, and then just a spin around from the back, nothing special. But yes, you guys, this is the fourth and final look. Thank you so much for watching my Alabama game day outfit attire. I guess you could call this more so of like a lookbook. You guys, um, these outfits, they just are for inspirational purposes. That's why I included like two more so dressier looks and then two more so of like the comfortable casual looks. And then, of course, everything that is still currently in stock will be listed and linked below in my description box. Please like, subscribe, comment, and until next week, bye!